Right, so here we go again. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we have a camera survey to find out why the toilets keep blocking. We have some blocked urinals and then we have a blocked sewage drain. So enjoy the video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. It really helped me out. Thank you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the that the end. Okay, so the question is at this site, why do the toilets keep blocking? Now, personally, I think it has something to do with these eco flushes. Okay, so at this site, what we need to do is take the boards down and then there's a bit of access behind to get access to the stack pipe. Right, so down behind the boards, you can probably see that black circle. Now that is an access cap, so we're going to get that off and see what's going on. Okay, so sorry I forgot to put a memory stick on the camera, so I've just pointed the camera at the screen, so hopefully you can see what's going on. But there is a thin layer of lime scale going down this stack. Now, it's not terrible. Okay, so there's a little bit of lime scale in the stack, but nothing too major that's going to cause too much of a problem. Now, I did camera the lateral as well. Sorry I didn't film that bit. I totally forgot to record it. But to be honest with you, that bit's not long been descaled. Now, since leaving this site, I've had a phone call from the office and we've spoke about 
change in the siphons in the toilets, or maybe change the system, I don't know, I'm not a plumber, it's more of a plumbing thing, but just to try and get some more water going down these toilets, and say more than likely that probably resolved the problem. Right, so we're going to leave this site and we're going to go across the bridge to Wales and we're going to go clear some blocked urinals in a restaurant. Right, so here we are. So I'm going to fill up the little metal bucket that's quite handy because it fits in the sinks. And we're going to pour some water down these urinals and see what they mean by slow running. Okay, so I'm not really getting enough water down the urinals. Now, apparently what's happening is when the cistern flushes, they're borderline overflowing, so they've caught it just at the right time. So we're going to take this trap off, give it a good clean out, then we're going to machine from this one. Now the pipe goes round behind the right two urinals, and then to the right of that there's a toilet cubicle where it then joins the main four-inch line. So from there we know it's clear because the toilets aren't blocked. So let's get the trap off and we'll go from there. Okay, so the urinals just flushed on the right hand side and you can see that water coming back, so there's definitely a blockage there. Okay, so we're going to get our Spartan machine in there and give it a good clean throw.
Now, it doesn't come across very well on the camera, but I could hear the cable tapping on the left-hand side. So the cable's gone in and gone the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is pull it back and try and get it to go to the right-hand side in the direction I want it to go. Okay, so that's as far as our cable goes, so hopefully that's far enough. To be honest, I think I machined too far. So we're going to fill the bucket back up and we're going to put some water down there and try and wash away all that sludgy, scaly stuff that we've just broken off. And as you can see, this right-hand urinal is still running a little bit slow, so we'll deal with that one in a minute. So what I'm just doing is I'm going to pull the cable back nice and slowly just in case I've missed any bits and that's why it's trickling back out of here. So we'll drag the cable back and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so I poured a few more buckets down and it stopped dribbling out of this pipe here. So what I'm going to do is put the trap back on and then we'll give it a good test. So that was the urinal flushing that I've just put the trap back on, so that's very good timing. As you can see, it's running away lovely. Okay, now just to deal with the right hand urinal. Now, as normal, this is the one that's always bad because it's the furthest one from the door. I've got no idea why, but that's just a general rule with urinals. 
So what I'm going to do is try and get the cable to go up around the trap and hopefully we can clear it that way without having to take everything apart. Right, so there we go. No leaks, all running nicely. So now it's just a case of doing a bit of a clean up. Okay, so I've gone and asked for the oldest mop they have that they're planning on chucking away, and this is the one I've got. So we're just gonna give it a good mop across so it's nice and clean so people can start using the urinals again. Okay, so that's my day done at this point. So I'm gonna go back across the bridge and go home. And then we then continue with a sewage blockage the next morning. Right, so this is our line. As you can see, it's blocked up just on the mouth there. Now, this site's had problems going back years, to be honest. So what's happened is the line is very flat, full of displaced joints. We've done endless patch liners here to smooth it out. It's helped, but not stopped the problem. So the problem is, because it runs under the building, and there's also a buried manhole, there's not really a lot we can do about it other than dig right through the building, which isn't ideal.
Okay, so this is quite an annoying one. Now, my jetter has too much jetting hose on the rail. It's a 100 metre rail, and I've got 120 metres of hose on it. So it keeps jumping off like this. It's an absolute nightmare. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a little bit of dye in and hopefully we should see that come through at the other end. Right, so I'm just going to give the man a little wash around and then we'll get the camera in there and double check his clear. Okay, so there are a lot of problems in this line. Now, 
This that we're sat in currently is a patch liner. Now I've put absolute loads in this line trying to keep it running. There's a lot of displaced joints, the line's very flat, it holds water, all the usual stuff. It was full of cracks as well. As I say, it's one of those, I think I said it earlier, there's not really a lot we can do with it. Without digging all the way through the building, yeah, what can you do? Okay, so when I get to the end of this, you will see that I come into a manhole chamber. Now, there was still a little bit of sewage sat in there. Now, this chamber is buried under the floor in the toilets. Now, what I did after recording this is I ran the jetter back through, got that bit clean, and then pushed the camera back through. I didn't film that bit because I didn't want the video to be stupidly long. But, yeah, let's get the camera back out. Now this place has a stupidly small car park. Now I can get the van in here as long as the car park is empty. So once again, thanks for joining me for another video. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you could leave a comment, that'd be amazing. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel as big as possible. So the more of you there are, the better. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment.